Hello beloved brethren, today is the 14th of March 2020 here in Australia and it is the 18th of Adar, 5780 on the Hebrew calendar. I'm going to get straight into it. Um, Luke 4, 5. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. So we know this is our Lord Jesus Christ being tested in the desert. Amen. So in a moment of time. This dream was given on the 22nd and the 23rd of September 2018. The dream was of a covenant made with hell and death on the 23rd of September 2015. The language that the father used in the dream was to highlight Satan and Jacob's trouble. If you read, actually, we're just going to go there. Sorry. Um, Jeremiah. 4.20. Now notice chapter and verse 4 and 20. Uh, destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled suddenly. Are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment? And we can see uh, it is all about the destruction sent from the north and the north is satan and his angels being cast down that is the army of god joel 2 2 or oh, and other scriptures but joel 2 2 always jumps out at me if you if you look and study in the scriptures, um, moment of time or moment in time, you will see that it is all about the destruction that is coming to Israel. Um, Job 34.20 is... I can never find Job. Father. Somewhere in here. Thank you. 34, 20, again it's 20. Uh, in a moment shall they die and the people shall be troubled at midnight, which is the midst, and pass away and the mighty shall be taken without hand. In a moment. So once again, when the father shows something, he is really specific in what he shows and what he says in the dreams. So the moment in time is, as I said, a representation of Satan and the destruction that is coming. So this was the beginning of the one week of Daniel. How does this relate to the dream? The one in white that read from the book, which was opened, who gave the interpretation of the Greek words written in blood. The blood represents the blood of the lamb. The one who read out of the book is the lamb. The book is the Lamb's Book of Life. I thought perhaps 
he was reading the sixth seal. He wasn't. He was reading the fourth seal, which was opened on this day when the covenant with Helen death was made. The virus is from God was the interpretation. The lamb opens the seals. That is why the virus is from God because the lamb opens the seals. There were four groups with this group set apart because it represents the fourth seal. So on the day, 12th of, Aust 12th of Australia, 12th of March, my time, Australian time, the announcement of a global pandemic and also Trump saying, this is a temporary moment of time takes us straight back to when the fourth seal was opened in a moment in time, a moment in time. Amen. This is what the father was saying and the printed sign that I didn't read is because it has already been written. Amen. So the groups like this with the fourth one set apart was to highlight the fourth seal. The announcement, as I said, of the pandemic is, is to show that hell and death are running rampant across this planet. The father solidified this by having Trump say, a temporary moment of time. And as I said, if you go to the scriptures and look to see where, where that word usage is used, it is all about the destruction of Israel and the nations, of course. But primarily Jacob's trouble is obviously for Israel, as we know. So this is why he showed the one in white reading from the book, reading the Greek uh, uh, words that were written, interpreting them, the blood of the lamb in Greek because the New Testament is in Greek and because the, you know, each seal that has been opened represents Satan, the Antichrist, and two gatherings, the rapture of the Bride of Christ and those who come to believe through Jacob's trouble. So this is why the Father set apart this day so that we who are paying attention wouldn't miss it. Amen? We wouldn't miss the the significance of those words that come out of Trump's that came out of Trump's mouth. Amen. We are privileged. We are blessed to see what others are not seeing. Amen. Others are bogged down in, in doctrine that has been taught for, you know, however many years, I have no idea. But we are blessed to see that we are born of the Spirit and not of flesh and blood. The Holy Spirit will teach us and show us, amen, when we are pliable and pray 
for wise hearing hearts. He can reveal things to us that he wants everybody to see, but of course the choice is up to the individual to flow with the river or to remain stagnant. <coughs> Our father is long suffering and not willing for any to perish. And that is why no judgment falls until the bride of Christ is raptured as we know. So I'm just going to reiterate the dream that was given showed the covenant made. The Pope and Obama met, then they met with the UN. I mean, it's quite obvious that that's extremely significant. Amen. And a moment in time occurred. So what happened on the 12th of us, uh, the 12th of March in Australia was a massive sign the importance of the words that Trump used. Again, please go to the scriptures and see where that word usage is used and you will see that it is all of the coming destruction for Israel and for the world. Amen. The grouping in the four groups is because the father was highlighting the fourth seal which it was represented by the one in white who read from the open book and gave the interpretation of the Greek words written in blood that the virus is from God. Because the lamb is worthy to open the book and loose the seals. So we know that people don't believe the seals are opened. Again, we either flow with the spirit or we remain stagnant water. Amen. So I love you all, beloved brethren. Jesus Christ is coming in the midst of the week. And we know that they are going to sacrifice. We can see that this global pandemic, the world is ripe for the Antichrist to come in. They are going to sacrifice because they want it on the Temple Mount. <coughs> Excuse me. Because of this virus, they want their Messiah, they want the Antichrist to come. We can see it is all set up. Amen. So I love you all, beloved brethren. Jesus is coming. <laughs>